Good morning, Donna High School. My name is EJ. And my name is Ingrid. And today is Thursday, August 29, 2019, a gold day and an even day. Please stand for a Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. You may now be seated. Now for some words from Dr. Castillo. Good morning, Donna High School, and welcome back to the halls of Donna High School on a Thursday morning. It is August 29th, 2019. It is a gold day and an even day. So welcome back to the halls of Donna High. Students are attendance yesterday, 98%. The breakdown was as followed. Freshman class, 99%. Sophomores, 97%. Juniors, 99%. And seniors, 97%. Overall, 98%. Enrolled at Donna High School is 1,959. So we have a lot of students, but teachers, we need to make sure that the no-shows are not being marked absent. And so we will be dropping the no-shows on Friday, meaning that you will probably have less students. So students, if you have friends that are still at home, make sure they're coming in because their schedules will not be on the system. Also, students, be informed that we are urging all students to sign up for the ACT and TSI. Go by the counselor's office, especially if you're a senior. Junior class, the same for you. And if you are ready, go ahead and sign up. We do have a mass testing next spring, and so we will test all uh, juniors and seniors that are, have not tested. Also, students be informed that next week we do have meetings for the uh, underclassmen and senior class. Monday will be the freshmen during student success period. Then Tuesday, sophomores, Wednesdays it will be junior, and Thursdays it will be uh, our senior class. So our senior class, we will have Justin's here for your orders for class rings, cap and gown, and also your graduation invitation. And no seniors that you will be graduating from the Bert Odgen Arena at 10 o'clock, the last Friday of May of 2020. So by the time you know it, the days will go by quick, quickly, and so you'll be getting pressured to get ready to get everything uh, in order for graduation. Also, students come out and support the Redskins as they go before the Donna North Chiefs. The game will be on Friday at 7.30, and we will have Channel 4 there showcasing all our traditions here at Donna High School, starting off with our Indian sweetheart that will be showcased at halftime festivities. So we want to congratulate our Indian sweetheart, and uh, that is a big highlight at Donna High School. We will also highlight our 1961 champs, and that is a big tradition. So teachers, we will send you all the information so you can talk to the students about that. And also the ambassador program. Our ambassador program is a prestigious group, and they also will be showcased. Also students, if you are a senior and bringing your vehicle, go by the police department to pick up your permit. And remember, you do need to have a valid license not a provisional so be prepared for that and again students important that you keep up with your student calendar you can pick them up at the front office and let it be known that donna high school students are college bound if you believe it you will achieve it this concludes the morning announcements and have a wonderful blessed day thank you dr castillo now for some club info we have we will have our first prep rally tomorrow in the fine arts auditorium the, the Redskins will be will play against the Donna North Chiefs. The game will be here at the at our stadium, <laughs> and kickoff will be at 7 p.m. We will also be having the coronation of our 2019-2020 Indian sweetheart, Evelyn Silva. So come to out come out tomorrow and support our Redskin and Redskins and Indian sweetheart. Attention seniors, today is the last day to sign up to take the ACT. You may sign up in the counselor's office. ACT testing will be held on Tuesday, October 1st. Our robotics club will be having the first meeting today after school. Students interested in joining are invited to attend. The meeting will begin at 4.10 p.m. in the CT building on the second floor in room CT205. Auditions for the Wizard of Oz will be held September 2nd and 3rd from 4.30 through 6.30 p.m. For more information, please see Mr. Lal in the Fine Arts building. We also have a quick announcement from FCA. Any students interested in joining the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, there will be a meeting today after school at 4 p.m. in room 104. All students are welcome. 
Now for a video clip from news station KVUE regarding rules of the road and school buses. As more students head back to school today, you'll see a lot more traffic, but dangerous driving around school buses can really get you in some big trouble. So this morning, we're connecting the dots to remind you of the rules. According to Texas law, drivers have to stop when a school bus extends its stop sign or when it turns on the flashing red lights. When that happens, Drivers in both directions must come to a complete stop on all lanes. That applies to a two-way street or highway with a center turn lane. You can't pass until the red lights stop flashing and the school bus has started moving again, or the driver signals you to do so. But it's different if there's a median in the road. Then only the side of the road where the bus is has to stop. Cars on the other side of the median on the road going the other direction can keep driving. In Texas, breaking these laws will land you a fine of up to $1,250. And unlike other tickets, it can't be taken away by defensive driving classes. So be sure to slow down, look out for kids crossing the street, and be aware of your surroundings. Of course, always put away your cell phone. This is all for your morning announcements. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Ooh.